Welcome. I'm Michael Redman, Director of Research at the Santa Barbara Historical Museum, and your host for the Santa Barbara History Moment. This moment takes a look at the history of the Arlington Hotel. The 1300 block of State Street, upon which the Arlington Theater now sits, was once the home for two hotels, both known as the Arlington. Tourism was becoming an ever more important industry in Santa Barbara by the mid-1870s. Health seekers were attracted to the area's mild climate and hot springs, while others were drawn by the South Coast's natural beauty. The opening of Stern's Wharf in 1872 was a watershed event, opening up Santa Barbara to the Pacific Coast shipping lanes. There was a problem, however, where there was a serious lack of first-class accommodations for visitors. William Wells Hollister, a commanding figure in Santa Barbara in the latter half of the 19th century, formed, along with a number of other prominent Santa Barbarans, the Santa Barbara Hotel Company. The shareholders determined to build a first-rate uptown hotel away from the fog and wind of the beach area. Construction was begun in 1874. Peter Barber, the most prominent architect in the city at that time, was chosen to design the new hotel. His other commissions included the 1872 County Courthouse, the Lincoln Family Residence, now the Hotel Upham, and the imposing Thomas Dibley Estate up on the Mesa. The three-story, 90-room hotel and its landscape grounds cost some $170,000. Mrs. Hollister headed a committee that traveled to San Francisco and spent $30,000 on furnishings for the hotel. The hotel was christened after the name of Robert E. Lee's home in Virginia. It was magnificent. Every room had a fireplace, gas lighting, and running water in an era when many homes did not have the latter two amenities. The grounds boasted a zoo, a deer park, and in those early days, visitors could enjoy vistas of the old mission to the north and the Pacific to the south. The hotel was not a financial success until the flamboyant Dixie Thompson became manager in 1879. As one contemporary put it, Mr. T made his guests happy and comfortable and was always at their service. Guests could now enjoy coach trips to outlying areas like the hot springs in the hills above Montecito or a journey up San Marcos Pass for a picnic. The arrival of the railroad in 1887 prompted the construction of a hotel annex on Victoria Street to accommodate the ever-increasing number of visitors. A fire totally destroyed the main hotel building in August 1909. Precious time was lost when a hotel employee rushed to the alarm box outside the hotel only to find it rusted shut. The cause of the blaze was never ascertained. Upon the ashes of the old arose the new Arlington Hotel, which opened in 1911. Arthur Benton, designer of Riverside's Mission Inn, rendered the new hotel in the popular Mission Revival style. Santa Barbara's train depot is a fine example of this style. The new complex boasted two towers, one of which contained a 60,000 gallon water tank. The new hotel encompassed 150,000 square feet and could accommodate over 500 guests. The letterhead of the new Arlington Hotel proclaimed it absolutely fireproof. A sign of the changing times was the inclusion of an underground parking garage. The first floor housed a billiard parlor, ballroom, dining facilities, even a stock exchange, while above there were four roof gardens. The hotel's trademark was the ship of explorer Juan Cabrillo, a motif used throughout the building. Although the hotel did well enough, it faced serious competition from the Potter Hotel, located off of West Beach. The Arlington came off looking rather staid in comparison to the Potter. While one could hear jazz at the Potter, waltzes were more the order of the day at the Arlington. Fireproof the new Arlington may have been, earthquakes were a different matter. The quake of June 1925 destroyed the building, most of the damage occurring when the tower holding the water tank collapsed. Two people died. The Arlington Theater had its grand opening in 1931. Today, a small arch on the corner of Chapala and Sola Streets is the only reminder of the days when the name Arlington meant the finest in hotel accommodations. 
So for over 130 years, the name Arlington has been embedded in the history of Santa Barbara. Join me next time for another moment in Santa Barbara history.